Hey, my babies, my soul tribe, my darlings. It's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. <laughs> welcome, babies. Welcome, welcome. Newbies in between them. I oh, geez. Okay. I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. I'm always sending each and every one of you guys so much love, healing, good vibes, okay? And I am so grateful for all of your love, support, all of your donations too that you give me. Oh my God. And I am deeply appreciative of all of the energy exchange, darlings. Okay, I do want to remind you guys that my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly. And just remember to only take what resonates out of the message, darlings. Okay, I am just blessed and I am deeply appreciative. And I want you guys to know that of each and every one of you guys. And I'm not always able to comment back because I am so busy and I am also raising two beautiful boys. But know that every time you comment, every time you like, every time you share, every time you show me love, even if the video does not resonate at that point in time and you still show love, know that I am giving it back a thousand fold babies. And for each and every one of my readings, you will be protected, me as well, by Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael from any evil eye magic or any negative energy or entities that want to beguile or to hinder us in any way. We send it back a thousand fold. Amen, darlings. So let's get to the reading. Mm -hmm. Hey, my babies. Hey, my darlings. So we're going to get right into the reading and see what's going on, okay? Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. My readings are timeless, so whenever you peer into my readings, they will resonate accordingly, okay? Um, sometimes I forget in the intro to thank you, but know that I am a thousand and more percent grateful and blessed to have you as soul family for your support, your love, your donations, your shares, your likes, your energy, your support. It means the world. It really does. I love getting on here and uh, vibing out with you guys. Even if it is the same monotonous ass message that needs to, you know, get through to people that maybe it's not getting through to. Okay? But that's my job. That's what I am here to do. Okay? One of the many things that I am doing because God has blessed me to have multiple talents and I am truly and forever humble and grateful. But I am humble and grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? Um, if you haven't yet, and I will post more on that channel, but you know, I have a lot going on in the background that I keep secret. But um, if you haven't, please go subscribe to Kyra the Race Love. That channel is about love and good vibes, whether new love, reconciled love, existing love, okay? Um, just to support your girl. And um, may God please protect us as we do this reading, okay? My guys, my spirit team, please protect the collective, all right? From any type of evil eye and black magic or negative energy that is being projected or sent our way as we're doing this reading, okay? No interruptions. And let this reading be clear, motivational, confirmational when it comes to your situation, okay? Um, I think we got it all out here. You know I love y'all. Y'all know I do. Ooh, child, man. This ritual stuff. Look at the bottom of the deck, y'all. <laughs> I haven't used this cards in a minute. So, yeah, I shuffled. Man, you know it's the full moon. And uh, we're getting this message a lot <clears throat> in these readings while the full moon is occurring and even before the full moon, you know, came about. But um, this full moon, it's, this shit ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work, okay? If they're trying to do any type of ritual, ceremonies, blood sacrifices, I'm hearing family members, it ain't gonna work, okay? 
I mean, some of your family members could have denounced their religion and now they're believing in something more sinister because they're desperate and they want to make money because they've been, um, I'm hearing, swallowed up by this matrix, by the practices, the shallow practices and the materialism of this worldly realm is what I heard. All right, but um, it ain't gonna work. All right, baby, so don't even worry. Keep doing, keep doing, <laughs> keep doing, you know, your spiritual practices when it comes to your protection, your cleanses, you know, banishing. Continue that as you are routinely doing, and it's working, baby, okay? It's working. All right, y'all, let's see what's going on. What's going on? Yeah, people that came for you and you ain't sent for them, they are completely overloaded, okay? <laughs> Burdened, okay? Um, excessive obligation, overwhelmed, yeah. I'm hearing bit off too much than they can chew. All right, they came for you thinking it was gonna be easy and they are realizing it is far <laughs> from easy to defeat you. And they realize that by coming for you consistently, they are defeating themselves consistently. I'm trying to tell you, a lot of you guys do cleanses, protection rituals, okay? Banishing spells, A cleanses, and whatever else you do, because some of you guys are white witches, okay? Some of you guys are healers, practitioners, all right? You're spiritual leaders, and you know how to protect your energy, you've learned. You know how to return to Cinda, all right? And them backfires, it's brutal, is what I heard. <laughs> they brutal, boo. All right, yeah. Okay, same message that keeps coming up because, you know, Spirit wants you to know that we got these motherfuckers by a choke hold. Okay? Um, spiritual gel, actual gel. Okay? Either or or both for some. But yeah, they bit off more than they could chew. <laughs> With you, boo. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. That's what these people are realizing, too the fuck just because you godly don't mean that you know you ain't gonna send it back don't mean that you're not gonna banish them okay and that just means sending back any evil eye negative energy projections black magic or demons gens or entities that they sent to you go on back you don't belong here baby okay they didn't expect you to be this well educated or well equipped when it comes to you know, occult knowledge is what I'm hearing. So what's going on here? They stressed than a motherfucker, okay? Because they was pressed than a motherfucker, all right? <laughs> what's going on, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, these people, or this person was a bully, okay? And now they're getting bullied and haunted by your ancestors. You know what I'm saying? If you check out a couple readings a while back, grandma was coming through like grandma you're like your ancestors your past on loved ones your spiritual you know goons they do not fuck around when it comes to you and deities and orishas because i was sitting down the other day and i just kept smelling like salt water like the ocean and i heard uh yimaye okay i'm hoping i'm saying that right no disrespect but yep it's like yimaye was giving me a message and a message of protection it was lit like I am hella gifted, and I feel like you are too collective, and you get a lot of deities and orishas that come to you that gives you signs, as well as your angels and your ancestors and, you know, your spiritual team to let you know we got you, baby, forever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever. Brrr, okay, period. Um, this bully or these bullies that gossiped about you, slandered your name, made up false accusations, rumors, okay, um, never had true facts on you would just make up shit about you cause you a whore a dark worker whatever they fucking made up okay because they wanted to be you they were competing against you um they're getting their ass handed to them and i'm hearing this is only the tip of the iceberg i mean some people are going to be unalived i keep hearing that they're going to fall ill they're going to be locked up not only physically but spiritually and when I tell you God is not going to hear them, God is not going to hear them. Um, I was just looking at a um, story about this guy 
that was locked up with a, a young man that pretty much binded his soul to the devil. And it's like, no matter how many times this guy tried to save this young man that he was locked up with, like, you know, cleansing him, trying to, um, you know, bring him back to the Lord and God and having him repent, God wasn't hearing anything this young man was saying because God gave him so many freaking warnings and chances before God stopped listening. And every time, you know, this guy would try to cleanse this young man, these demons would just overtake him and they would tell this guy, I'm back. And they would smirk and laugh in this guy's face because this young guy, he did a ritual with this young woman that he had like, you know, lust for. I'm trying to tell you, they get you through temptation, lust, porn, anger, okay? When you're depressed, when you're weak, okay? And uh, what happened was this guy, the young guy, you know, was warned, okay? A pastor warned him before going back to his home city because spirit warned him not to go back to Chicago. I think he was from Chicago, I, I remember, I believe. And spirit was like, don't go back to Chicago. And then God gave the pastor the same message to deliver to this young guy. He didn't listen. He went back to Chicago. And he wound up running into a Jezebel demon which was this young woman that he's always been attracted to. And I feel like if I can remember, he was a part of like a secret society, like, like some secret cult is what I, if I can remember. And it's like, he kind of was saved from this cult and he went to a completely new, new city, a completely new um, town. And it's like, you're always going to be tested. Like you, you will. And God wants to know how much faith you truly have in him. So it's like the guy went back to Chicago, the young guy, okay? Um, and this is the older guy telling this young guy's story because this young guy is completely um, taken over by these gens, these demons, and it was multiple of them. So what happened was, let's get back to the story. He, he went back to Chicago when he shouldn't have. The pastor told him, God told him, his spirit team, his ancestors told him, he didn't listen. Went back, like I said, he was pressed and highly attracted to this young woman that had a Jezebel demon attached to her. And basically, this young woman convinced this young guy to do some type of ritual. They were doing some type of ritual. But before, before this young guy was to go in this house, God stopped him and he heard loud and clear. I mean, it was so loud and clear. It's like me talking to you right now. Don't go in there. Don't do it. They, it kept saying it over and over and over again. Did you think the young guy listened? Uh -uh. He went in, did the ritual. And after the ritual was done, that young woman that he had sex with and basically binded himself to the demons that was bound to her, she told him straight in his face, now you can't escape. Now you can't go anywhere. Moral of the story, do not fall for temptation of this worldly realm. The devil is a liar, will always be one. God is always guaranteed. And you need to listen continuously. And I feel like you do, collective. This is for the cross watchers that keep watching these readings, trying to get a one-up on y'all, the chosen ones, the ones that want to elevate and, and be righteous and do right and that follows God. Y'all think that y'all getting a one-up by listening to the devil, gens. And the crazy part is these gens are gonna get judged on judgment day too. What you think? They're good gens out here. Why do you think the genie, that movie, okay, actually exists? That's a good gen just like it's good witches. But then you have bad gens and bad witches. Peep game to y'all, right? Y'all listen to these bad gens that are connected to, you know, the devil, Satan, a lower 
power, okay? And y'all really believe that these gens are going to truly give you what you deserve and you constantly, I mean, person after person, generation after generation gets beguiled, manipulated, and lied to. While the righteous that follow God, no matter how long it takes to get you where you need to go or what you want, you never bow down. You never turn a leaf to the dark side. You always have unwavering faith. And that's why you get blessed, collective. Those that want to sit up here and denounce, you know, spirituality, God, their religion for money, they don't realize that your soul is eternal. Like, our bodies... All, all, all have an expiration date, but your soul is eternal. And it's like, for greed, jealousy, envy, this materialistic-ass realm, people forget that. And then when they are in terrible circumstances because of their own doing, because God blessed us human beings with choice, animals, insects, they don't got choice. God loved us so much, he gave us choice. But these motherfuckers constantly choose the dark path and they get what they deserve. It don't matter how much they hate on you, they evil eye you. It don't matter how much magic they throw to you, chosen ones, righteous ones, godly ones. It ain't gonna work. And this bully is realizing that. Wake up. Just like that young man heard the voice of God before he walked in that door and had binding ritual sex with that young girl that he was tempted and that he had a crush on for a long time, y'all had a choice too. And y'all keep choosing the wrong path. And eventually God is not gonna hear any of your prayers when you play victim or cry for help or mercy when you're reaping your consequences, like, let's be real here. Exactly. You will get the last laugh, Collective, you will. Because you always stay in the light. You always stay righteous and just. No matter what you going through, you could be broke depressed at your lowest low and you still get up and pray and thank God for whatever is going right, whatever little that you had or have, and that's why you get blessed. That's why you get blessed. Okay? Yes, the tests are hard. This journey is hard, but those that stay vigilant, righteous, give love and kindness, generous, unwavering faith. Do not blame God. Work alongside your benevolent ones, God, your angels, your ancestors, your spiritual team, your passed on loved ones, deities and orishas will have great rewards. Heal yourself, take accountability, accept what you need to change and do it for the betterment of you, for the betterment of your children and the generations to come after you. If you choose not to do that, you cannot blame anyone but yourself. If you commit atrocities of thievery and much more in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. You went collective. This bully was celebrating way too soon. And that's what God will do. God will think you know, make you think that you're winning, but you're not. <laughs> you're not. And pull the rug right up underneath from your ass. Especially if you are ungrateful for what God has blessed you with and you think you are above God or you are God, sit your ass the fuck down. Okay? You love yourself, collective, and that is one of the strongest weapons you can have to defeat anybody that's trying to tear you down. Why? Because you'll walk away, you'll detox, 
you'll defend yourself, you'll protect yourself, okay? You won't have the nudge to impress, to live beyond your means. You don't fall into being ungrateful or dissatisfied. You, my love, are completely the opposite, what I just stated previously. And that comes with self-love, putting yourself first, knowing that God is always for you, not against you. These are lessons we're learning. And as we pass them, our life gets better. It's not rocket science. Is the test hard? Sure, yeah, they are. But you are resilient, strong, capable, and amazing and talented and gifted and you have the tools to get through them. And it all starts with your mental, your mind. You understand me? Self-care, healing, independence, yeah. Healing is a forever thing. I've been saying this since I started coaching my channel and my own spiritual journey, okay? And you want to keep people in your life that adds to that, not continuously tests it, not, you know, hinders it. No, you don't work too fucking hard for people to come up and play in your face and try to, you know, bribe you. No, you're not taking the bribe. And because you didn't, because you didn't take the offer to sell your soul, because you didn't choose to link up with this secret society, because you always and forever, every single day you wake up, it don't matter if you are poorer than poor or richer than rich or middle in the middle. You wake up every day thanking God and having God in your heart and rolling with God. Period. You don't like to cause misery. You don't like to see people miserable because you're not a fucking miserable person. And when you go through anything, you normally hermit. So you can figure out, why am I feeling this way? What is causing this? Am I overthinking? What do I need to heal? And much more. And you figure it out. And you literally step out better. Like your frequency, your energy is like elevated because you do your work. You do your shadow work. You do your homework. As you do your homework, you're able to pass the test. Preparation opportunity reaps reward. The preparation is your homework. The opportunity is that test. The reward is when you pass it. You get me? You feel what I'm talking about? Okay? Your alliance is God. Your angels. Your benevolent ones. Your passed on loved ones. Spiritual goons. Deities and the reaches. That's who you are aligned with. Some of y'all could have a dog. Okay, a dog could be your um, spiritual totem. Sp uh, um, yeah, like a uh, spirit pet totem. Okay. Yeah, man, but these this bully had an alliance as well. A darker alliance. And the devil will never beat an angel. Ever. They will cause illusions and delusions. But when it all clears out, the truth will always still be right there. <laughs> always overload exactly this person trapped them on selves <laughs> okay God let them think that they were doing something that they were affecting you that they were going to take from you that they were going to you know knock you down a few pegs think is the key word but the truth is it was never going to be it was never meant to be. What happened was meant to go as planned. But it was never going to go in this person or these people's favor. Never. As long as you held your faith, your resilience, your righteous, pure intended heart, and you kept going. You understand? Bully. Yeah, they stress the fuck out. Of course they are. Okay? Magic, manipulation, control. None of that shit gonna work. It's over. The cycle is closed. The reason why clearly I keep giving this reading is to let you know that you are doing magnificent. 
Time doesn't exist. So keep going. Keep praying. Keep protecting yourself, your children, your family. Everything is unfolding. The dust is settling and everything's going to get better. It is. You'll see. Okay? Yeah. People can put on fake facades and act like they're not stressed. They're not pressed. But huh, behind closed doors is a completely different story. Okay? You won, baby. And you continue to win. Another reason why these stories keep coming up because these people keep doing magic and you keep literally escaping. <laughs> you keep outsmarting these people. Also, some of you could have new people that came in your life and that were snakes and you outsmarted them. I mean, you keep constantly passing the test. You keep constantly allowing God to lead you, baby. And God will never, and when I mean never, never lead you astray. Never. Ain't nothing wrong with not being religious, but you need to be spiritual. But if you're spiritual and religious, that's a beautiful thing as well. But if you don't stand for something, baby, you're going to fall for anything. And that's what these people did. Some of these people act religious, but they're just as evil as they come. Okay? Indulgence. <clears throat> yeah. Had an idea to... Do a ritual, right? In the beginning, we saw a ritual at the bottom of the deck to do some type of ritual to feed you, give you a cursed gift, try to astral project to come into your dreams to siphon off of you, to block you, to see, you know, what you're in store for. And when they saw it, they thought that they can take it. And God said, no, motherfucker, that's not going to happen. But the thing is that God gives you chances so if they were affecting you for a short amount of time, that's because God was giving them, you know, a chance to right their wrongs, to take accountability, to apologize, to confess, to repent. And they never did that shit because a losing ass motherfucker like these people or this person will feel as though if I can get away with that, then I can get away with it again. No, fuck no. What part don't you understand that God and higher forces are always watching all of us? It don't matter if you get delusional and feel as though they're not. They are. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Let's see. Bribe. Bribe. Yeah. Delusion. I can't make this shit up. Delusional. Imagination. That's exactly what I heard. Delusional, motherfuckers. That's what they are. Thought that they were going to basically have it in the bag with reservations. Yeah. Have what in the bag? What, your destiny? No. Hell no is what I heard. They ain't had shit in the bag. <laughs> Motherfuckers are delusional. Just like that young guy that literally heard loud and clear God or their ancestors or their spirit team tell them don't go in that house and he went in that house had binding ritualistic sex with that woman and the rest was history. That shit crazy. Woo, child. That shit was crazy. Let's get a little bit more, y'all. Let's get a little bit more. Let's see what's going on. Overload and trapped. What's going on with that? One's um, processing of knowledge, communication, generosity, and social life. Yeah, they're trapped. Yep. I feel like you're exposing these people, but it's like they wanted to like finesse their way out of also their karma or basically finesse you, talk you, try to talk nice to you, try to be nice to you. Like finesse is what I hear. But you love yourself too much. <laughs> Again, <laughs> you love yourself way too much. Like, no, nah, I see you. I'm cool. Okay, whoever these people or this person was to you, all right? It differentiates for each and every one of you. But you keep winning. You just keep winning, boo. And some of you don't even know you're competing because your angels and your ancestors are whipping their ass for you as you keep moving forward, okay? Yeah, some type of third-party situation. Third party can be friends, family, exes, you know, baby mamas, baby fathers, co-workers, associates, I think I said friends and family. Yeah, they st they stress the fuck out, y'all. I can't make this shit up. Of course they are. Yeah. 
Man, you had a lot of people come up against you, man. And you whipped, well, your ancestors and you whipped their ass. Because I feel like when you were asleep, you were whipping ass while you were asleep. So if you ever woke up constantly tired and drained, yes, it was these people pulling on your energy. But also you were fighting in the 5D. Yeah. Self-love. Because you love yourself way too much to be anybody's fucking sheep. You get me? Exactly. Witchcraft. Of course. <laughs> yep. They would try to do witchcraft in the spiritual realm, in your dream state. Okay? And in the uh, 3D. The physical. And you're a warrior, man. You're a warrior. That's why you woke up tired. You're like, why am I tired? I done got like nine hours of sleep because you was whooping ass with your ancestors in the spiritual realm. That's why. Yeah, motherfuckers want to copy and be you. They're not going to take nothing from you. Not your destiny, not your vibe, not your authenticity, not your originality, not your uniqueness, nothing. Someone likes how you dress, talk, look so much that they try to act like you, but they will never fucking be you. Period. These are toxic connections. Friends, co-workers, associates, family, exes, baby mama, baby fathers, husbands, wives. These are toxic connections that you aren't fucking with. It just is what it is. <laughs> it just is what it is. They thought that they had it in the bag. No. Yeah. You're not unimpressed with any of these motherfuckers. <clears throat> but they act like they're unimpressed with, with you, but constantly stalking you want to be like you. How that work? Exactly. False ass people, false ass twin flames, soulmates. All right. Constantly. You're running through these people's mind constantly rent free. Yeah. Because you know thyself. That's the next card. You know thyself. Yep, you're secure with yourself. It says family, siblings. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. There's people that... It's always the motherfuckers close to you. Like like I said in one of my last readings, my mom peep, always peep game to me. My mom is a jewel keeper, man. She be spitting them jewels like, what? She said, you got to realize that those that are closest to you will always be the first to betray you. Because the devil cannot use people outside of you. You don't care about people outside of you. You care about people that you care about. And that is what's going to cut deeper for you. To try to knock you off your, your pedestal. To try to get you from your purpose, your path. And she always say, if the devil ain't on you, if haters ain't hating, then you ain't doing something right, baby. So just keep vigilant, resilient, and keep doing your thing because I'm rooting for you. All right? And so am I to you, collective. I am rooting for you. These motherfucking people, they were all bad contracts, bad people, bad relationships, bad business partners, bad connections. Yeah, because they all wanted to control you. And what are they all getting? Let's say, class, karma! Exactly. And now they want to hide and try to run and try to get off the grid. But they stay stalking you to see if this witchcraft is working. And it's not. That's why they stressed the fuck out. Because they mooching, codependent, not having nothing, nobody, not factor, degenerate, lame loser ass. Okay, that will be nothing because they choose to be nothing. Want to mooch off for you. But bitch, no. Your achievements is your achievements and your achievements alone. And you up here chilling. Period. All right, end of story. Period, babies. Period. We're going to get some zodiac signs because if I do tarot, it's just going to reiterate what I just said. We're not going to do tarot this time, but we are going to get some advice. All right, so let's get some zodiac signs of, you know, who these people are. Now, for some of you, you could still be partying with these motherfuckers. You better get these people about your energy, okay? Because they're going to try to do some ritual on your ass. And it's the full moon. Come on, wake up, baby. Wake up. All right, for some of you, this is a third party that, you know, wanted you or your person. It ain't happening, okay? Now, if you're in a relationship and your person's a cheater, it's a third party that really wants your person. And they're going to try to do a ritual on your person to get to you. So be careful, all right? 
and vice versa. If this is someone that, someone that really wants you, they're going to try to get into your energy to kind of derail your person, is what I'm hearing, or and derail you. So continue to cleanse your energy, baby. Continue to rebuke, banish, please. All right? If you are dealing with someone that you know for sure is a cheater, is a two-time loser, is living a double life, get them out of your energy as soon as possible. And yes, you will go through the grief stages, okay? It'll be anger. It'll be heart. Um, what is it? Anger. It's, um, you know, like like crying. What? I forgot. But it's like, it's like you, you'll feel sad. So it's like anger, sadness. Then it's like acceptance. And then you'll finally heal. So let, go through those stages and just, just accept the heartbreak. Because this person ain't worth, you know, what you have coming towards you, what you're meant to have when it comes to love and finances, when it comes to your well-being and much more that is promised to you. But you got to let this person go because they're a blockage, okay? If that message pertains to you. Let's see some Libra, okay? If these are your signs, it's just extra confirmation, all right? Cancer. Taurus. I mean, some of these people don't even want to let you go. Oh, well, it's time to let the fuck go, bitch. Okay? Gemini. Virgo. And then we have Capricorn. I get one more. The bottom of the deck. Leo. I heard one more hearty spirit. And Scorpio. All right? So these are the signs. All right? Whoever they are to you. The Scorpio, the Cancer, and the Virgo, they come up a lot in uh, these readings. In everybody's fucking readings. Like, these people are the worst. Um, oh, okay. Let me get some advice when it comes to you. All right, going forward. All right, spirit is talking. Um, great passion, yep. Um, I'm being shown the Ace of Wands. So you're going to get a new passionate idea or you're going to gain the passion back when it comes to love, when it comes to a relationship, when it comes to your business and work, work endeavors. Keep your life in balance, yep. So just keep your life in balance. And always, you know, lead with love, babies. Okay, don't get taken advantage of. You know, know who to give the love to. Give it to everybody, but know who to stop giving it to if people, you know, want to take that shit for granted. Oh, somebody's going to propose to you, my sweet. A marriage will take place either romantically or in business. But I really feel like I heard a proposal. This is beautiful. Let's see one more. And I feel like karmic feminines or distorted masculines, you know, try to keep you from your twin flame, higher level soulmate too. That shit is over too, like... And that's probably one of the reasons why I said that story about the young guy that was tempted by that Jezebel, you know, girl that he always had a crush on because your person could have been tempted, okay? For others, you are dealing with someone that is being tempted and they're going to fail. For others, your person passed, okay? So you got to put yourself where you belong. There's a lot of messages coming through here. So we have sunshine, sunshine, I can call you my baby boy, you can call me your baby girl, baby we can spend some time, I can be your sunshine, period, okay? New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start, yep, the sun is shining, baby, after the storm. Um, I'm having sunshine after the storm, a sincere wish will be granted, yep, and success and overcoming all of these problems at the bottom of the deck a new home a new attitude so you're gonna get a new home yep moving to a new city new state or just a new residence like i said some of you guys need to get out of a relationship okay that's holding you back because this motherfucker is getting all types of uh, black magic done on them okay for other we have uh recognize it yeah recognize it uh, all right it says sorry. Right. It says, recognition, reward for merit. Yeah, I'll tell you, you're going to get your reward, baby, for all you went through. But um, like I said, some of you guys need to get out of a relationship 
It's not your twin flame. It's not your higher level soulmate. He's an imposter. She's an imposter. Um, but then you also have like karmics that want to be with you or want to be with your person that was hell-bent on, you know, keeping you guys confused and distracted. It ain't working. And then you also have people that, you know, want to steal your inheritance, your abundance, your life. They want to steal you, like the whole of you, <laughs> your whole persona. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it right there, babies. Um, you're doing great. Keep doing great. This bully, you know, getting their ass handed to him. All these bullies. Yeah, man. The message just keeps coming out like, just chill. Don't even worry. Just chill, boo. Just chill. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. Just settle down. Because I want to spend my life with you. I think that's the words, but that's what I'm hearing. Um, but I'm going to leave it right there, babies. Okay? I'm trying to keep these readings quick, straight to the point. Okay, people celebrated way too fast, and now you're gonna be celebrating. And you're gonna have front row seats to every one of these person's karma. Like, you're gonna know each and every one of who did this, but the dust is settling. And, you know, God wants you to get your blessings and, you know, be really happy before they truly reveal each and every one of your enemies. And this is why this also keeps coming out. Because I feel like. Right now, you could hold some type of resentment or you could allow these people to block you because you're going to be enraged when you find out who these people are, okay? For some of you, you already know, okay? and But you don't know to the extent of what the fuck they did. And that's going to come out as well. So as the story unfolds, all right, as we give these readings. Until next time, babies, you know I love you to life, though. Bye!